Now, when you're designing a picture, there's other things that artists have done for a long time uh, to kind of frame it up and see what it looks like uh, by eliminating uh, uh, information outside what you're looking at. And I'm going to show you three little ways of doing that. The first is called the first. The first technique is called using framing L's. Okay. Now my framing L's here are made out of Luan plywood, which I just which I just cut out with a with a um, with the saw. And you take two you know thin pieces of plywood and just cut them out. Okay. Uh, one of the easiest things to do is to get a uh, a ready-made picture mat, uh, like a around an 11 by 14. And just make your L's out of that. You know, you, you have the ready-made window, and then you just cut the corners, and then you have two L's. And here's how this works. Okay, the first thing you have to do is you have to set up your L's like this, so that it corresponds, so that it corresponds to the proportions of your uh, of your format or to your canvas size. Okay, so um, I'm going to look through here right now, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting the markers in the corner like this. So these line markers I'm going to be putting here in the corner. So I have to have my little clamps here. What, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through like this and I'm just going to adjust it until the proportions are correct. By the way, I like having, uh, I like having these big L's because they're easier to work with. I don't know. I don't know why people uh, have such small ones. But I'm looking through now, and that's about my that's about my proportions right there. So once I get my proportions, I put my little clamps on. Okay, if you're using um, you know the cardboard one, you can use uh, you can use little paper clips or whatever. Some people just hold it, but I think that it's good to have little clamps. Okay. Now I'm looking through, and now as I look through like this, I get a much more precise idea of what the final drawing and painting is going to look like. Because I don't have to sort of look at the other stuff and, and use my imagination and block it out. I can look through it with this and see what it really looks like. Okay, here's I'm going to show you two other examples of, uh, of viewers. Okay, This is a viewer somebody made for me. This just has a sliding piece of wood. Okay, This one I look through and it's a lot easier for me to get my proportions right. Yeah, right about there, my proportions. So that's what I'm looking through. And then finally, this one is readily available on the market. It's called the View Catcher, and this one is one of the most popular ones. Many of you have this one. This is a little tiny one you buy. You can get it at any art store. And it's the same principle again. You're looking through it. The only thing I don't like about this is because it's so small, when you get it up close, it gets very blurry. Um, you know, you're, look, you're focusing back there. And, and the, uh, the, the viewer gets blurry. So I, I think the best thing to do is to go ahead and make some cardboard L's um, and just keep them handy. Um, sometimes you can do it the other way. Sometimes you can look through your L's first and get a design you like, then set up your grid, and then put your line markers where things need to go. That way, you know, you're framing it up this way first, and then you're using the grid to, to draw it. Okay, that's another way you can do it.